So another tool that we have available to us is the table tool. Um, I've actually set up another spread here. Let me kind of go down to my next page. So here is my vital statistics page. And actually what I want to do is add a table of some of the performance data um, of, uh, of, of this car. So on the left-hand side, I've got this uh, table text tool, uh, it's called. So let's grab that and I'll zoom in a little bit here. And I'll drag out. And what I actually want here is a, a four-column, uh, two-row table. So I'll uh, drag it like that. And as you can see, that's now kind of dropped a table in there. And if I double click, it gives me an option to, to, to edit the table. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and, uh, and uh, type in a lot of data into this table. So that's the, the raw kind of text that I wanted to put uh, in my table. Now, um, obviously this is now a table, so when I kind of move this around, uh, it kind of equally spaces things uh, as I would uh, like. I can double click on that table at any point and adjust the, um, exactly how the, um, each of the cells are kind of uh, distributed. If I wanted to add additional columns or, or rows, I can select, say, a column, uh, right click, and then you've got an option to delete or insert a column, and it will be, of course, it's the same on rows too. Um, incidentally, uh, while you're editing a table, things like your color wheel is now going to be adjusting the, uh, the background color of the cells that you've selected. Uh, let me undo that. Um, just to kind of point out, if you actually want to change, in this case, I actually want to change the, the, the format of the text. Um, on, on the context toolbar, you can do that uh, using this fill color. So I actually want to change that uh, text color to be that kind of goldy colour uh, again. Um, but we do also have, uh, let me just turn off guides. Um, so we do also have uh, other sort of table formatting options too. You know, at the moment it's kind of got, you probably just about see it, it's kind of got this uh, black uh, border uh, around all of the cells. I kind of want to edit that. So let me uh, get in there and I'll double click. I'm going to drag across all of the columns there. Now in the context toolbar at the top, you've got a table option. So if you click on that, that then brings up this uh, table panel. And actually what I want to do here is I'm going to select, because uh, I want to change the borders on this, so I'm going to select the, uh, the all border option, and then I'm going to go and set that to none. And now I'm going to select uh, this option, which basically just is the lines in between at an e either end. Um, and I'm going to set that to be uh, that colour, I'm going to make that a bit uh, wider, like that. Uh, you can see on these cell properties down here actually, I can control the, uh, the indent. Um, at the moment all of these are locked together, but I can, uh, with this sort of lock icon here, uh, sort of make it that I'm just changing the left indent of my table, which is kind of what I want to do. Um, and I think finally, actually, I've kind of got a line down the, down the right-hand side here now. So I'm going to select the right-hand line option on my border and uh, go back and set that to, uh, to none. Um, so you've kind of got all of these formatting options for a table and for the borders of a table. Um, and that's kind of created the style of table um, that I want.